Well, good morning, everybody. It is Thursday, July 25th. I'm Maggie Flecknow, and this is Houston Happens. All eyes are on Houston today as the race for the White House makes a stop here at the GRB Convention Center. It is Vice President Kamala Harris's first trip to the Lone Star State since President Biden announced he will not be seeking re-election. We have team coverage on the Vice President's visit. And we begin with our own Seth Kovar, who is live at the George R. Brown Convention Center in downtown Houston, where Harris is the keynote speaker at the American Federation of Teachers convention said hundreds of thousands of people they are expected to hear from her we're going to be having it right here on our air who will likely be the democratic nominee for president it's a really exciting day here in houston it is. There's a lot of people here. I mean, well, you, we're going to broadcast it on CW 39, so lots of people can watch it that way. Hundreds, if not thousands, of people are here at the George R. Brown Convention Center. They have been waiting in line for hours. I showed you during CW 39 Houston, no way weather and traffic, just how long the line was. Well, Nothing's really changed. It's still very long. If you know the GRB, it's a very long building. This line, it stretches the length of it. They're all trying to get into Convention Hall 3A over there where Harris will speak. Supposedly at 10 o'clock this morning, they may have to hold up that speech so everyone can get to their seats. But what, some of these folks have been here four hours this morning. Let's go ahead and show you the video I rolled earlier. Uh, photographer Beatrice recorded of the line in its entirety. All these people are delegates for the American Federation of Teachers National Conference, which has been going on all week here at the GRB. Once President Biden stepped down, down as the Democratic presidential nominee over the weekend and endorsed Vice President Harris to take his place. I'm told excitement has been growing here, and that excitement peaks at 10 this morning when Harris will take the stage. Now, some folks got in line, like I was mentioning, around 6 this morning, a full four hours before the Vice President's speech was set to start. Oh, it's Kamala Harris. Of course, I'm going to get here early. I'm, I adore her, and I'm so excited to, to see her live. She's a fantastic woman. She's got a lot of really great vision for America, and I think she's going to be the right president for us. Well, that woman and other American Federation of Teachers, AFT, National Convention delegates say they think Vice President Harris will improve our country's education system, making the job of teaching a little easier. It is a thankless job at times. It's a big reason why the AFT, like President Biden, has endorsed Harris for president. You'll hear more from those AFT delegates in about 30 minutes or so right here on Houston Happens. But again, Vice President Harris is set to speak at 10 this morning, just down the hall there in George R. Brown Convention Center room A3. Um, we're going to have the delegates going in there pretty soon. They're starting to finally get all the seats filled in there. We're going to show the speech here on CW 39. And uh, we have a crew already in there all set up. They had to get there really early this morning. Security is very tight, as you might imagine, with uh, so many things now in play now that Kamala Harris is the likely Democratic presidential nominee. Maggie? Yes, thank you, Seth, and we look forward to checking back in. And today's speech, it comes a day after Vice President Harris actually met with Houston Mayor John Whitmire and other city and county officials. She spent yesterday getting briefed about hurricane barrel relief efforts. Our own Kara Willis is live with more. And Kara, what do we know about her goals while she's in town? It's a big visit. Okay, it seems as though we are having a little bit of technical issues with Kara. We, of course, are going to be checking back in with her. But again, Vice President Harris, she actually came in a day early. And we have this video that you saw. She met with city and county officials to talk about barrel relief efforts. All eyes have been on Houston as we recover from barrel. And, of course, with all those center point outages. And then again, she is expected to make her speech a little after 10 o'clock. And we're gonna air it right here on CW39. And we were going to have team coverage throughout the day on air and online. Yeah. So make sure you tune in for that. And you know what? You know where Vice President Harris should go if she stays in town a little bit longer? I mean, maybe she'll get delayed because of this weather. The Pose to check out their new solar dust pop-up exhibit. I'm so excited because we have a very special guest with a sneak peek. Introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Kirby Liu. I am the director at Post Houston. And um, 
Solar Dust was my idea, and um, I was sort of pulled together the team to make uh, Solar Dust happen. So I'm so excited to introduce this exhibit to you guys, and uh, you should, guys should definitely check it out. So tell everybody, if we've not been out there yet, what it is exactly. So the official description is that it is exploration of nature and technology, which sounds like a bunch of buzzwords. <laughs> so I want everyone to uh, go with me on a little bit of a literary journey. Humor me for a moment. Okay. Imagine that we are in prehistoric times and you are a hunter-gatherer and you are in a forest and you're searching the underbrush and you know that there's a beast in the underbrush and you don't know if it's predator or prey. Now take that feeling in your mind uh -huh. and transport it into the 21st century and combine it with lasers and industrial space. There's a sense of mystery. Um, uh, excitement, uh, the expectation of the unknown, and uh, maybe even a little bit of anxiety. So it's a completely um, immersive experience, and uh, it's something that's totally different. You know, I think that um, immersive art has really blown up in the past five years, but it's a it's an art form that continues to uh, develop new iterations. It's not just the same thing over and over and over. So we're really happy to bring something that's really state of the art to uh, Houston, Texas. I actually got chills. I was on that <laughs> journey with Yadi, and I'm like, whoa, I really want to go see this. Now, is it friendly for all ages? I have a little one. Will we all experience it kind of differently? So, uh, kids that are under three years old sometimes get a little bit Scared. frightened. Yeah. But kids above three years old, they're absolutely thrilled to see the color, um, the beautiful lights, and uh, they totally are in love with the fantasy of this kind of, of, of this light show. Why is this so important to you to have this? Um, so Post Houston started with the Day for Night Music Festival in 2017, and at that time, um, the Day for Night Music Festival was this kind of come together moment after the devastation of Hurricane Harvey. Right. Um, and it was a celebration of art and uh, uh, Houston's resiliency. And so um, at that time, we really pioneered the field of immersive art and music festivals. So um, at this point in our uh, building's development, we want to bring some of that uh, creative energy back and bring. Um, um, again, cutting edge uh, art installations back into the building so that people can revisit uh, their fond memories from the festival. I absolutely love this. Where can we go for more? Do we need tickets? Can we just go? How does it work? Yeah, so um, you do need tickets, but okay. it's easy to buy tickets uh, either online or in person. Okay. Um, and. Uh, you know, typically reservations are pretty open, and uh, it's just uh, it's the the show lasts about uh, 15 minutes in total, so um, it's an absolutely really awesome time. Well, just your description and your passion for it, I really appreciate you, and thank you for bringing this to us. A sneak peek. I'm telling you, Vice President Harris, if you're watching, you definitely need to go check this out. It is one of the many reasons I love Houston and this immersive experience. So thank you so much. We'll thank of you, course Maggie. have details over on our website, CW39.com, and we have plenty of Houston happens after the break. Capture comedy gold. Here we go. Oh. Give me another popsicle. The Neighborhood, weekdays at 4 and 4.30 on CW39 Houston. This sight can make you feel uneasy, scared, jumpy, got horribly hurt in a bad 18-wheeler wreck. This sight for sure will make any greedy insurance company feel uneasy, scared, jumpy. I'm oh, dear man, the Texas hammer. I don't let up. A bad truck wreck gave my client a traumatic brain injury. I got him a million nine hundred thirteen thousand five hundred dollars in his pocket. The time to call is now. It's payback time. Don't go it alone. Attention all seniors. You can now get up to $50,000 for your funeral and other final expenses, including your credit card debt, with no medical exam, starting at less than a dollar a day. Honey, your dad and I can't stop talking about this baby that's coming. We've also been thinking a lot about our future. And no matter what, we want to make sure we aren't leaving you and your family with any of our debts. Just last week, we read that the price of a funeral can be $8,000 or more. Wow! Jeff and I definitely would not have the money to pay for that. And that's just a funeral. But you don't have to worry. We called, and with one phone call, we were eligible for $50,000 for our funeral and final expenses. Well, that's great. But don't you need to take a medical exam to qualify? You and mom have some health issues. 
No, there's no medical exam, and we were able to get coverage right over the phone. And our rates can never be increased. Our benefits can never be decreased, and our coverage can never be canceled. I'm so glad you made that call. Don't leave loved ones with your debt. Call 800-726-9756 now and see if you qualify for up to $50,000 for your funeral and other final expenses starting at less than a dollar a day. There's no medical exam and you can be approved even if you have pre-existing health conditions. Your rates can never be increased, your benefits can never be decreased, and your coverage can never be canceled. There's no obligation. Call 800-726-9756 now. There's no paperwork, no no hidden fees and no waiting periods and you can start coverage right over the phone starting at less than a dollar a day call 800-726-9756 that's 800-726-9756 800-726-9756 make a date with two and a half men get me out of house week go out like public to 10 and 10 30 on cw 39 houston well, thank you for joining us on Houston Athens. In about an hour, right here on CW39 Houston, you can watch Vice President Kamala Harris deliver the keynote speech to the American Federation of Teachers Conference. We're very excited. We have team coverage about that. But the speech comes a day after Vice President Harris actually met with Houston Mayor John Whitmire and other city and county officials. She spent yesterday getting briefed about hurricane barrel relief efforts. So we're going to check back in with our own Kara Willis. She has more and Kara I know that this is a really important visit her first trip to the Lone Star State since President Biden said he will not be seeking re-election what do we know about her goals while she is in town well, Maggie, what we do know is that the vice president had an extremely busy day when she touched down here in Houston yesterday. She landed right here at Ellington Airport yesterday afternoon where she met with the mayor and Commissioner Rodney Ellis and also the Office of Emergency Management to talk about goals for future weather disasters and, of course, how the White House can help. Now, she this is the second time she's visited Texas this month. She is the nation's first Indian American senator as well as California's first female and South Asian Attorney General. What made the most history is that she is the first black and South Asian American person to hold office in the White House as the Vice President. President Biden endorsed Harris to run for president in the Democratic race. The New York Times reports that the majority of Democrats in Congress and all of the country's Democratic governors have announced their support for VP Harris to lead after President Biden dropped out of the race. On her ex account, Vice President Kamala Harris stated in one term, quote, in one term, I should say, as President President Joe Biden has surpassed the legacy of most two-term presidents. I know we are all grateful for his service to our nation. It is my honor to have his endorsement. Now, also, Maggie, we don't quite know when she'll be leaving Houston today. As mentioned, we do know she has that big speech at the convention in about an hour this morning, and she's going to have that speech. And um, what we know is that she'll be leaving here from Ellington Airport. But of course, as you know, these things do change, but we'll be monitoring it to give everyone the latest information on what we know when we get to that point. Back to you. Thanks so much, Kara. I appreciate you. Well, there's a lot of excitement in the air because also tomorrow, can you believe it? The opening ceremony for the Olympics. But you know what? Forget about those games. There's another competition going on during Wine and Cheese Month. Postino Wine Cafe's second annual Battle of the Bruschetta. And joining us with more is Trey from the Montrose location. Thanks for waking up with us. You're welcome. Cheers to you. Yes. And cheers to good wine and food. So last year, we talked about the first annual competition. It was such a hit. You guys brought it again. Tell us a little bit about this. Yes, so now we're in our second annual competition of Battle of Bruschetta. Um, it's uh, our nationwide competition where all of our restaurants comprise their recipes, and we let the guests, you know, let them uh, vote to see who the winner is. Of course, there's bragging rights, and that winner gets a permanent spot on the menu. I love this. Okay, so you actually brought some stuff we can make. Yes. All right, tell me what we're going to be doing. All right, we're going to be building a cheese board to commemorate National Wine and Cheese Day. So I'm going to walk you through it. Okay. Uh, so let's start off. We have our board here. I love it. We're going to start with a scoop of our ricotta cheese right Ooh. here. Ooh. So what's like the hottest cheese right now, would you say? I would say right Put now. in the middle? Yes. Okay. That's fine. We are doing a seasonal cheese right now. It's our um, green chili hatch gouda. 
Uh, Ooh. So perfect for the summertime. Okay. <laughs> Everyone's a whiner. Just kidding. Oh, yeah, right. ah. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. All right. So now what's up next? Now we're going to grab um, some fig jam. <gasps> oh, I love fig jam. Where should I put that? We're going to go right next to the ricotta cheese with that. Okay. Wonderful. Ooh, All right. Beautiful. We're going to grab a beautiful wedge of brie cheese and yeah. lay it right on top. This is great in commemoration of the Olympics, of oh, course. Oh, yes. All right. So lay it where? Right on top of the fig jam. <gasps> okay. This is amazing. Tell us about some of the recipes you've been seeing for the competition. Well, they're so creative. Um, and, you know, all the recipes come from all of our locations across the states. So a lot of them have the essence of that location. You yeah. know, our last year winner was Mexican street corn, mm. which really gives the Tex-Mex feel of, you yeah. know, of Texas. Um, but this, this time around, we have a French onion and berry mascarpone. Oh. Um, so very interesting choices there. Kind of your sweet versus savory. I love this. Um, and then right after that, we're following up with the Philly cheesesteak versus um, buffalo cauliflower. Okay, I think my dad and my husband <laughs> would like that. That's what I love is there's something for everyone. everyone and of course, you have some amazing wines yes. to have with this. Wines pairing off with all of our items here, especially the cheeses we're building. Uh, perfect for the summer perfect for social hours, any time of the day, um, and we're gonna pour off a few of those as well. Okay, so we're running low on time. I'm gonna yep. continue working on my cheese board over here because you know I am a perfectionist. Yes. <laughs> and where can we go for more and to try these and vote? Wow, well, we have 30 locations all over the nation. Here okay. in Houston, we have six locations. Um, every day, $6 wine glasses until what? five o'clock. So wonderful happy hour. Every Monday and Tuesday night, we do a board and bottle special where you get a full bruschetta board and a bottle of wine for only $25. So oh. definitely the place to be. <laughs> this is amazing. Of course, we have all the details over on our website, CW39.com. Cheers to you. Cheers to you as well. And we have more Houston Happens. Working on my board. You love that. <laughs> <laughs> July 25th on National Hire a Veteran Day, Capital One is amplifying veteran voices and highlighting ways companies can prioritize veteran hires. Joining us with more is Carl Shavaco. He's the Senior Director at Capital One and a Bronze Star Medal recipient. Thank you so much, Carl, for joining us today. Thanks for having me. All right, so what are three things you knew when transitioning into a corporate world? You know, making that jump from the military to corporate America is very challenging. 200,000 men and women do it every year, and it, it's it's daunting at times. But a couple things that I, I would say to veterans, uh, the first one, find companies that understand veterans and have support structures. Um, the second, lean into soft skills. Veterans are natural leaders and know how to build trust and inspire teamwork. And finally, leverage your network of those who have served before you and are now in corporate America and, and give them a call. All right, I surely will if I have that power. Well, first, tell us more about hiring our heroes. What's that like? How, like, how empowering is that? It's a great organization. So it's part of the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, and Capital One has partnered with Hiring Our Heroes for, for many, many years. And the purpose of the organization is really to help transitioning veterans and military spouses um, get roles in corporate America. And it's through a series of on-the-job training and skill builders uh, with the hope of, of landing a permanent role at the end of the program. Okay, so how can corporations, we're Houston, we have so many big companies here, how can they help and support the hiring of veterans and their families? Yeah, there's a couple things that uh, companies can do. The first is having dedicated military recruiters. So these are recruiters that understand how to read a military resume. Um, second, having internal mentorship programs to help uh, veterans understand the culture, to understand how to succeed within the organization. And finally, just having the company partner with organizations that place veterans, like Hiring Our Heroes. Okay, so what is the purpose and how is it helping? So, so, so we have a couple different ways that we help um, veterans. Uh, we have a, an internal support structure called Salute, and this is our business resource group at Capital One, and we're 6,000 strong. So that's veterans, reservists, military spouses, and allies. 
And the purpose is really to build a sense of military community at Capital One. And we go out and attract veterans and military spouses. We develop them once they're, they're at Capital One. And then we go out and do great things in the community uh, by volunteering with military friendly organizations. I absolutely love that, Carl. Thank you for everything you do. So where can we get some more information? Please go to CapitalOneCareers.com. I love that. Thank you so much, Carl, and really enlightening us on this really important topic. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. CW39's Lifestyle Show, Houston Happens, highlights local businesses every day. Our team's ready to help you reach more customers and grow your revenue. We'd love to speak with you. Please scan the QR code or email hhsales at cw39.com today. Embrace the journey, where each moment turns into a cherished memory. Your membership is more than just a card. It's your gateway to extraordinary experiences. With the AAA app, discover savings and hidden gems, from dining to travel to hotel stays. Your membership is your companion with the partner you trust. As you hit the open road, remember, AAA membership is your ticket to unforgettable moments and more. AAA, we're always with you. If you haven't called Senior Life Insurance Company for your free quote, you're probably paying too much. Senior Life was able to get this 65-year-old woman a $10,000 immediate benefit whole life plan for under $41 a month. She saved over $450 a year by choosing Senior Life. Some competitors cost twice as much. This 65-year-old man was paying almost $110 a month before he called Senior Life. We were able to cut his rate to $52, saving him almost $700 a year. These low rates are locked in, and so is the coverage amount. Hundreds of thousands of seniors have taken advantage of our low-cost plans built with seniors' budgets in mind. We saved this couple almost $1,400 a year with more coverage compared to what they were paying. Call now to find out if Senior Life Insurance Company can cut your rate in half. The quote is absolutely free. Switch to Senior Life and stop paying too much. Call now. Thinking of selling your house? I'm JR with SellToJR.com and I'll buy your house as is. I'll give you a cash offer within 24 hours. SellToJR.com makes selling your home easy. We buy houses in any condition. We can work through any situation. With SellToJR.com, there are no strangers walking through your house, no closing costs, no commissions, and no repairs. Go to Sell2JR.com for your free, no obligation cash offer. Watch ABC 13 Eyewitness News at 9 on CW 39 every night. Hot Bench, today at 10 and 10.30 on CW 39 Houston. Welcome back to Houston Happens. Members of Congress are mourning the death of one of their own, Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee. The Texas Democrat passed away last Friday after announcing her pancreatic cancer diagnosis in June. Washington correspondent Jesse Turner reports on how her colleagues are paying tribute to her. Join me in observing a moment of silence to honor Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee's memory. A House committee started its hearing on a somber note after one of its longest serving members, Texas Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, passed away Friday. The loss of a friend to all of us on this committee. Tennessee Republican Congressman Mark Green held back tears as he remembered the 74-year-old Democrat who represented her Houston-based district for nearly 30 years. Who always fought passionately for her constituents. Jackson Lee announced in June she had pancreatic cancer. We will miss her dearly. Her seatmate, Mississippi Democrat Congressman Benny Thompson, also remembered Jackson Lee for her tireless work for her district, noting how she secured more resources for first responders and victims of natural disasters. There was no more fierce an advocate than Congresswoman Jackson Lee. Jackson Lee cultivated quite the reputation across Capitol Hill for her relentless spirit. 
Her colleagues marveled at how it often seemed like she could be in multiple places at the same time. Just meant a lot to, uh, to all of us. California Congressman Pete Aguilar and Ted Lieu helped lead a celebration of life for Jackson Lee with the entire Democratic caucus. Every day she came into Congress and fought for justice and equality. Jackson Lee also helped lead efforts to protect victims of domestic violence and recognize Juneteenth as a federal holiday. Many lawmakers plan to attend services in Texas for Jackson Lee next week. In Washington, I'm Jesse Chenor. Ride Tigo, Houston's most affordable rideshare company, presents easy things to do. Downloading the Ride Tigo app is as easy as peeling a banana or scanning the QR code. Do it today and get 10% off your first ride. Ride Tigo, we take you there for less. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was going to have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered arthritis knee pain centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting-edge, image-guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA-approved, non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Discover unbeatable deals at Sleep Shop Superstore Bunk Bed World. Queen mattresses start from $125, twin mattresses from $75, and king mattresses starting at just $249. Open every day with delivery. Don't wait. Head on down to Sleep Shop Superstore Bunk Bed World and sleep better tonight. Tonight, a News Nation special report. The plot to kill Trump. Reliving the moment of crisis as it unfolded on air. News Nation's Brian Enton shares the latest on the investigation. Where did security go wrong? New interviews and exclusive details. Tonight at 10, 9 central, only on News Nation. Hi, I'm Brandon with Priority House Buyers. And I'm Pat, and we buy property all over Houston. Our family-owned business has been buying houses for cash. And fixing up neighborhoods since 2009. We buy fixer-uppers and blower-uppers. Rented or vacant, inherited, foreclosed on, even homes in decent shape. And we'll pay all the closing costs. And there are no commissions. All it takes is a few minutes on the phone to see if our family can help yours. Call 832-821-1000. That's 832-821-1000. Get pumped. Save $50 on a Riddell helmet. Now just $99.99 at Academy Sports and Outdoors. People's Court, today at 11 on CW39 Houston. Ride Tigo, Houston's most affordable rideshare company, presents easy things to do. Downloading the Ride Tigo app is as easy as boiling water or scanning the QR code. Do it today and get 10% off your first ride. Ride Tigo, we take you there for less. Approaching 9.30. Thanks for joining us for the second half hour of Houston Happens. You know what's happening in Houston today. The race for the White House is in town. Vice President Kamala Harris is here in H-Town. And we, of course, are bringing you team coverage. We're going to check back in with our own Seth Kovar, who is live at the George R. Brown Convention Center in downtown Houston, where Vice President Harris is the keynote speaker at the American Federation of Teachers Convention. She's set to take stage very soon and said this is one of many speeches she's going to be making over the next few months now that she'll likely be the Democratic nominee for president. Yeah, that's what everybody I've spoken to here hopes for anyway. The American Federation of Teachers National Convention is wrapping up here. It's been here all week long at the George R. Brown Convention Center. And it kind of reaches a peak. It kind of reaches a peak today with Kamala Harris's speech at 10 this morning. This line is amazing. It just keeps filling itself. It runs the length of the building. We've been showing it to you all morning long. Folks filing into the convention hall 3A over there to get a glimpse of the vice president and hear her speech. Uh, hopefully it will be finished, the line completely done by the 
time the speech starts. It's scheduled to start around 10 this morning. We did record some video earlier when the line may have been even longer. Maybe it was two or three wide. There are so many people in this building trying to get into the speech itself. Now, some people got in line at 6 a.m., four, four, four hours before the likely Democratic presidential nominee was scheduled to start speaking. Soon after President Biden stepped down as the nominee and endorsed Harris to take his place, the American Federation of Teachers, the AFT, also endorsed her. The AFT is one of the country's largest teachers' unions. AFT convention delegates are hopeful that, if elected, Kamala Harris would make changes that would make the difficult job of teaching easier on them. Two of the delegates I spoke to gave me their reaction to the historic news over the weekend, the change at the top of the Democratic ticket. Oh, it's Kamala Harris. Of course, I'm going to get here early. I'm, I adore her, and I'm so excited to, to see her live. She's a fantastic woman. She's got a lot of really great vision for America, and I think she's going to be the right president for us. Well, as we wait for the speech to begin, Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo has declared today Vice President Kamala Harris Day. It's in recognition of her first visit to Houston as the likely Democratic presidential nominee. But again, another look at this line that just blows the mind here, really. It's uh, the length of the building, GRB, a very long building at that. They're filing in to get their seats ahead of Kamala Harris's speech, which is scheduled once again to start at 10 this morning. This is only for AFT delegates. You can't come down here and get in line. It's only for teachers in that teachers' union. You can watch the speech, though, right here on CW 39 starting at 10 this morning. Maggie. Thank you, Seth. I know. I can't believe that line. It just keeps growing and it's so messy out, but there is a lot of sunshine in there. Everybody seems very excited. Thank you so much. Excellent reporting as always. And she's been busy. Today's speech comes a day after Vice President Harris met with Houston Mayor John Whitmire and other city and county officials. She spent yesterday getting briefed about hurricane barrel relief efforts. And our own Kara Wills is live with more. Kara, there's a lot on her agenda. You also have a look at the history of Harris. So give us a little bit of insight. Good morning, Maggie. Yes, it is a rainy day out here at Ellington Airport, but that's not stopping the excitement, as you just mentioned, of people excited about a Vice President Harris's arrival here in Houston a day early yesterday. She was here to meet um, Houston Mayor Whitmire and Commissioner Rodney Ellis as well to talk about barrel relief efforts. And of course, they were able to discuss different things such as, you know, what the White House can do to help for future weather disasters. She was greeted after landing by Whitmire and Commissioner Roddy Ellis as they both prepared to meet and also she is behind her early visit and what we learned is she flew in early to have these meetings to have a plan in place for future meetings here to Houston. This is her second time in Texas this month and according to the mayor's office she visited the Office of Emergency Management as well. Her visit also comes just a few hours early of President Biden's first speech to the nation after his decision to drop out of the presidential race yesterday. Now also VP Harris has officially been endorsed by the president. Um, she is very excited about this and the president has been very vocal about how qualified she is to take on this role if she were to become president. I hear that she's endorsed by many other Democrats, but of course we're going to be following this information at later throughout the morning and beyond as well. New information that we have as of now, Maggie, is that she will, after her speech comes at George R. Brown, she will leave here at Ellington at 11 a.m. to head back to Washington. We'll have more on that schedule later in our show as well. Back to you. Thank you for bringing us the latest. And it's always exciting to be out there to see everybody and for them to get on that plane. So thank you. I can't wait to see that. But let me tell you, of all times to come to Houston, you know, I was glad that she actually pushed her trip yes. a day early because it is a mess out there. It is. Uh, uh, yes. Everywhere it is a mess because of all the rain we got this morning. We're going to yeah. continue to see some rain. In fact, I have some more information on Harris's travel back to Ellington Field here in just a second. But right now I want to focus around downtown the George R. Brown. Here's a picture from Twitter and you can see the heavy police presence likely added more police officers there because of of the vice president's visit and uh, several roads are now blocked in and around uh, the George R. Brown. That was a picture from the Hilton. Now let me zoom out here. According to the daily guidance on the vice president's schedule, she will be leaving Houston around 11 a.m. and then heading towards Ellington Airfield so she can make her way back to Washington, D.C. Now the 45 stretch, that's going to be about 15 miles. So pretty much between 11 a.m. to about 1145, you may 
may encounter the motorcade if you do travel along 45 here in just a little bit. Also, I do want to mention that along 45, it has been a wet roadway. Several accidents have been reported in and around the area, so please be careful so you know there is going to be the motorcade along 45 later on this morning at around 11, possibly even until noon because we have just more rain coming. So here's a look at our traffic alert map with all of the rain and look at this southwest freeway already starting to see some moderate rainfall. Let me zoom out a little bit further here now in our satellite and radar picture. I've been measuring this batch of rain coming in from Matagorda County into Brazoria County, Maggie, and it looks like it's traveling at about 25 miles per hour. So this moderate rain will be heading over I-45 here in the next hour, hour 15. So it is possible that it is going to be a rainy commute for the VP. Welcome to Houston, yeah. Adam, <laughs> VP. And this is what we have to deal with all the time. But we also have a lot more accidents, as I mentioned, including this one on I-45 North. The northbound lanes right at Gulf, for, uh, Gulf uh, Bank. bank. Uh, unfortunately, this was a deadly accident. It is a total road closure of those northbound lanes your alternate right now airline and also hardy toll road so everyone please be careful out there because the rain is going to still stick around here for the next couple of hours as you saw on satellite and radar 100 percent chance for right now as we head into the early afternoon hours it does slip to about 70 percent but still the roadways are going to be wet it is going to be cloudy the sun isn't really going to be out to dry up our roadways and then later on tonight into this evening we do drop that chance to about a 50 50 of you being able to see some rain now maggie with this rain, it's not going to be heavy downpours for us around I-10, Harris County. Mm -hmm. But man, I'm not too confident right now at the conditions uh, that are going to be developing along the coastline. In fact, we have a flood watch, which I'll break down for you coming up here in just a minute. Yeah, and then also be careful driving because there's still trees and debris that haven't yes. been picked up. And then they're getting into the road. So the side streets, be extra careful of that and a lot of ponding. It wasn't yes. exactly a fun morning. <laughs> it's today. messy. It's just sloppy. It's messy. So, yeah. yeah, welcome to Houston, Vice President Harris. All right, in the meantime, we are now joined by Dr. Allie Rod, who is here to guide us on how to find accessible and affordable reproductive health resources. Hi, I'm Dr. Allie, an OBGYN who is passionate about women's health and women's health education. Today, I want to talk to you about options for your reproductive health. I know a lot of women are feeling anxious and worried about their choices regarding reproductive health, which is why I think it's so important that women have access to contraception, but also access to education around contraception so that they're able to make their own informed decisions. Now, when we start talking about contraception, there are a lot of options available. So I kind of like to start with the basics. So things like condoms that we're all familiar with. Condoms are available at grocery stores and pharmacies, and they work great. And they also have the added benefit of helping prevent from sexually transmitted infections, which is so important. Next, we have things like emergency contraception, and Cadence OTC just launched their morning after pill, which is FDA approved and uses the number one doctor recommended ingredient, levonorgestrel 1.5 milligrams. Now keep in mind that the morning after pill does not affect future fertility and it works by preventing pregnancy. Now it is time sensitive, so you wanna make sure and take it within 72 hours of unprotected sex, but the sooner you take it, the better it works. Now, other options for birth control are going to be things that you can get from your local healthcare provider. Things like birth control pills, IUDs, implants, the Depo-Provera injection. These are all great options for birth control, but it does require you to get a prescription from a medical provider. Now, a lot of the times I get a question concerning what is the difference between the morning after pill and the abortion medication. Now, it's very important to understand that they both work very differently. The morning after pill works at preventing pregnancy. So it prevents the egg from ever meeting the sperm, so pregnancy doesn't form. Now, the abortion medication, it works by ending an already existing pregnancy. So two very different ways that they work. Now, one thing I love about Cadence OTC is that they are working so hard to make the morning after pill 
readily available, affordable, and accessible to all. The morning after pill is available at local convenience stores, places such as Circle K and 7-Eleven. So it's there when you need it, in case you have an oops moment of unprotected sex. And one of the greatest things, it's affordable at just under $25. Now, for more information, I definitely recommend going to trusted resources such as Planned Parenthood, the CDC website, or your local healthcare provider. Now, if you want more information about Cadence OTC, you can get the medication online at cadenceotc.com, or you can follow them on Instagram at cadence underscore OTC. Hot bench next on CW39 Houston. To see the Texas hammer coming makes greedy insurance companies feel uneasy, scared, jumpy. I'm Tim Ant, the Texas hammer. I hammer hard for all the cash, all the benefits you deserve. The time to call is now. It's payback time. When you call a specialist, you expect a higher level of service and skill. The most experienced hands the best craftsmanship, precision. And when your AC goes out in Houston's heat, the work must be done right, and it must last. This high level of quality is only found in the experts at Air Specialist. For AC repair, call the Air Specialist. Excellent quality at a fair price. Hi, I'm Lee Trevino. Most people know me for winning six PGA championships. With my bum knee, I started thinking I was gonna have to trade my club in for a cane. Then I discovered Arthritis Knee Pain Centers. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers has cutting edge image guided treatments that place a natural lubricating gel directly into your affected joints. This FDA approved non-surgical procedure replenishes the missing cushioning fluid to provide you with pain relief, comfort, and improved mobility without surgery or downtime. It's covered by Medicare and most private insurance. We've helped relieve the pain for thousands of our patients. Arthritis Knee Pain Centers, relieve my pain and change my life. They got me back in the game again, baby. Call them now and schedule your free knee pain assessment. Get the pain relief you deserve today. Call 800-925-6863. That's 800-925-6863. Have you been looking for the perfect sofa, versatile sleeper sofa, cozy reclining sofa, or stylish sectional to complete your living room? Yes? Then it's time to get serious. Get saving at the Rooms to Go sofa sale going on now. Every sofa is on sale. Every leather sofa, fabric sofa, sleeper sofa, reclining sofa, sectional, every style for every space, all at great sale prices. Now, during the Rooms to Go store-wide sofa sale, every sofa is on sale. To see the Texas Hammer coming makes greedy insurance companies feel tense, frightened, anxious, bad rent. I'm Bill Adler, the Texas Hammer. I hammer for all the cash, all the benefits you deserve. The time to call is now. Let me fight for you. Time now is 9.43, and we are getting closer to Vice President Kamala Harris's keynote speech at the American Federation of Teachers Convention at the GRB. It's actually officially started today. Here's a live look at the speakers that are currently taking the stage. The Vice President is set to begin her speech at 10 this morning. Now, only union members are allowed there, but we actually are going to bring you the speech right here on CW39 Houston, or if you have to go take us with you, you can stream it over on CW39.com. And then right after her speech, she's set to make her way down to Ellington to leave to go back to Washington, D.C. It's a messy morning out there, and we've already unfortunately had fatal accidents. You know, it's a busy day for her to be visiting. It really is. We've had uh, a lot of this rainfall coming in in the early morning hours, and that's exactly when the accident started piling up. At one point before we even went on air, there were six, 
seven accidents being worked on. Right now, there's four active accidents, including the one you mentioned. Unfortunately, someone did die in a four-vehicle accident on the North Freeway, the northbound lanes. Total shutdown right there. It's all because of the rain, and we're going to continue to see rain throughout today. In fact, we're going to see so much rain that there is a flood watch out in effect until 10 p.m. today for the coastal counties, also Liberty, Harris, Fort Bend, on the way south. And we're going to continue to see that rain pile in, as I mentioned a couple of minutes ago, that uh, big batch of rain is going to be moving across I-45, the Gulf Freeway here. And so the uh, motorcade, yeah, they're going to have to make sure their windshield wipers are working. Here's a look at our excessive rainfall outlook. And I want to point out here the red right along that coastal area. This is where we can see maybe upwards of five to seven inches by the time this is all over by tomorrow morning. Here's a live look right now at the Gulf Freeway at Lois Lane, and you can see the rain coming down right now. We have the red roadway, so everyone, please slow down, have some courtesy for the other drivers, leave some space between you and them, and of course, put your cell phones down. Mm. So here's a look at our satellite and radar picture. We have some thunderstorms off in the Gulf. We have some moderate to heavy rain that just passed over Galveston County, just getting scooting out of Chambers County. But we have another batch here to the southwest of us. That is going to continue moving into our area right into Houston. So we will see about an 80% chance of some rain as we head into the lunchtime hour. And here's a closer look at that rain that is moving in. It's got some heavy rain patches right there in Palacios, also also in part, uh, Port Lavaca. Let's move on over now to future cast. As I mentioned, this is going to be an all day thing. You're either going to get a little bit of light rain or you're going to get some of these patches of heavier rainfall. Looks like most of the activity is going to be south of I-10. Maybe a few showers do develop later on this afternoon north of I-10. But look at that. The bullseye of the heavy rain is going to be right around Galveston County, Brazoria County, Matagorda County, and that's where we can rack up about five to seven inches of rain. Let me go ahead and show you here with our rain projections as we move in to this afternoon and later tonight. We have about an inch already in angle 10. We could get seven inches as we head into Thursday evening. Houston, maybe an inch or two. We can definitely handle that. Further north you go, you'll notice we're about less than half an inch. So it's really going to be mainly a coastal thing. Right now in Houston, ooh, doesn't this look lovely, Maggie? Uh, you got music class, right? Yep, that's what we're going to be looking at. 74 degrees right now. It is a bit breezy, but the rain, that's going to be the big headline for today. So you want to make sure that you keep a little rain jacket for a little Miss May as you guys yeah. head out to music class and uh, I suspect you're gonna have to keep it with you in the <laughs> car Maggie because look tomorrow we still have that 60% chance of rain same thing for Saturday 70% oh, yeah, on yeah, Sunday yeah. so it's just gonna be busy well we keep singing raindrops keep falling on our head <laughs> <laughs> That's the theme. You know, I love a good theme. Well, yeah. I really want to check back in with our own Seth Kovar. Very exciting time. He is live at the George R. Brown Convention Center in downtown Houston, where Vice President Kamala Harris is the keynote speaker at the American Federation of Teachers Convention. We're getting closer, Seth. This is a huge speech that we're going to be watching right here on CW 39 Houston. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You have to be an AFT delegate, an American Federation of Teachers delegate to go to the speech today. And uh, so watching it on television, watching it on CW 39 right here is the way to go starting at 10 this morning. But what a difference about 15 minutes makes. That's the last time I joined you live. There was a line down the length of the George R. Brown Convention Center. That line has now filed into Convention Hall A3. They're getting ready for Kamala Harris's speech, which is set to begin in about 15 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and show you video know of the line earlier. Some folks got here as early as 6 in the morning for a speech that doesn't start until 10 a.m. I'm told the excitement here has been growing throughout the week and it got started, of course, when President Biden dropped out as the Democratic presidential nominee and endorsed Kamala Harris to take that role instead. That has folks here endorsing her as well, just like President Biden did. I talked to a couple of delegates, got their level of surprise when they heard the news over the weekend. Take a listen. I was um, surprised that uh, President Biden stepped down, but I feel he did a duty to his country. He felt that he did what was best, and I'm excited that Kamala is stepping up in his place. I was very proud because it's a, it's, it's a historical moment for, for us to see our, the potential for our first African-American, Asian, uh, Pacific Islander woman president, you know, and I'm very proud of that, and I'm, I'm very hopeful. 
Well, security would have been tight just for a vice president, but now you have her as the Democratic presidential nominee, most likely. So the security was even tighter. Our crew that's on the inside in there in the convention hall got here at 6 o'clock in the morning. They uh, set up their gear there. They had the bomb-sniffing dog, the police dog there. They got their bags searched and all that. They want to make sure that nothing bad happens at this event. There are thousands of happy people, though, through those doors back there, ready to hear Kamala Harris speak. That's starting at 10 this morning. And once again, we will bring it to you right here on CW39. Maggie? All right. Well, the race for the White House. All eyes are here on Houston today. We are center stage for sure. And again, thank you so much. Excellent reporting as always. We are going to continue to have team coverage for this historic day in Houston. And I know a lot of you want to hear what Vice President Harris has to say. So that's going to be coming up shortly. In the meantime, though, I do want to take a look at today's sponsored content. And of course, we are going to continue to bring you team coverage here on CW39 Houston because, after all, this speech is what is happening. So stay tuned for that. And, of course, we'll be back here tomorrow morning, same place, same time, for more Houston Happens. But stick around for more special coverage after the break. Attention all seniors, you can now get up to $50,000 for your funeral and other final expenses, including your credit card debt, with no medical exam, starting at less than a dollar a day. Honey, your dad and I can't stop talking about this baby that's coming. We've also been thinking a lot about our future, and no matter what, we want to make sure we aren't leaving you and your family with any of our debts. Just last week, we read that the price of a funeral can be $8,000 or more. Wow! Jeff and I definitely would not have the money to pay for that. And that's just a funeral. But you don't have to worry. We called, and with one phone call, we were eligible for $50,000 for our funeral and final expenses. Well, that's great. But don't you need to take a medical exam to qualify? You and Mom have some health issues. No, there's no medical exam, and we were able to get coverage right over the phone. And our rates can never be increased, our benefits can never be decreased, and our coverage can never be canceled. I'm so glad you made that call. Don't leave loved ones with your debt. Call 800-726-9756 now and see if you qualify for up to $50,000 for your funeral and other final expenses starting at less than a dollar a day. There's no medical exam and you can be approved even if you have pre-existing health conditions. Your rates can never be increased, your benefits can never be decreased, and your coverage can never be canceled. There's no obligation. Call 800-726-9756 now. There's no paperwork. No no hidden fees and no waiting periods. And you can start coverage right over the phone, starting at less than a dollar a day. Call 800-726-9756. That's 800-726-9756. 800-726-9756. Kids aren't always this easy to see. As they head back to school, it's important to drive smart to keep everyone safe. Stop and yield for people in crosswalks. Obey speed limits. Watch for kids darting into the street. And put your phone away. Staying alert ensures that everyone gets to school safely. Be safe. Drive smart. Does anyone feel like life can be really messy? I know I do. There is something shady going on, and I'm not afraid to get into your mess. You are not winning in life. Let that sink in. So let's get into it. Karamo, today at 12 on CW39 Houston. All right, 9.53, and all eyes are on Houston today as the race for the White House makes a stop here at the George R. Brown Convention Center. That's where Vice President Kamala Harris will be delivering the keynote speech any moment at the American Federation of Teachers Convention. And my colleague, this is a very exciting day. We get to be on together. Sharon Melton, she is standing by now with the latest. It's a really big day here in Houston. This is huge because this is going to be, of course, a mega speech. She is yeah. the keynote speaker, as you've been talking all morning long at the American Federation of Teachers Conference that's taking place. Teachers from all over the country have been here waiting to watch and see this. For some, it was a surprise it was happening. Yeah. But for a lot of people, they are just coming in droves. They stayed up all night 
and they some people just checked into their hotel rooms today and didn't even bother to go get breakfast because they wanted to be in line to see this as a historic moment in which the vice president Kamala Harris for many who assume could be the presumptive nominee for the Democratic Party to give a major speech and the big thing about this a lot of people are saying because of the speech that was given by President Joe Biden last night not only continuing to endorse her but reminding people this is going to the next generation to see and hear what she has to say in reference to that is it going to be more on the political side of it of yeah. what she plans on doing if she does become the official nominee for the Democratic Party and what she plans on doing if she does become president so all eyes right now not just on of course the Federation and the teachers union but on what the vice president will say to the public here in Houston the world is watching, not just here in Texas, but the entire country, DC, the world. System. So many people are actually looking forward to hearing what she has to say. And the great thing is that we can bring it to you because mm -hmm. we're the voters and we want to hear what she has to say as well. And it's been busy for her already, Sharon. She came in early because she wanted to meet with the Houston mayor, John Whitmire, to talk about barrel. And that's a huge thing, too, because we're still recovering from that. Yes, very much so. And she even had a chance to meet some first responders who are right there on the scene from fire departments, from the police department, from uh, EMS, from others, and even some, of course, linemen out there who are helping out to, thank goodness, restore power for so many people. And sadly, we still have about a thousand people who do not have power. I know. I mean, we're over two weeks past this and they still don't have power. So she was there to meet and greet with them. But again, all eyes are back on the George R. Brown Convention Center, which around 10, 10, 10 is what the... Uh, um, latest has been told of us around 10 10 she's supposed to begin her speech and it's going to be very very eye-opening to see what she has to say and Teron you and I have covered a lot of news very much I so. have never seen anything like we've been seeing over the past couple of weeks no I not mean. at all and actually it, it feels like and a lot of people have said this as well we are witnessing a part of history. This is the first time where a president has actually stepped down in this way. We had Lyndon B. Johnson who did step down because he did not want to see re-election, but a, a sitting president who was actually campaigning, deciding not to do that and passing along to his VP. This is a historic moment to see what she has to say, what has just happened with the, the current president and even more so. So it's going to be very, very interesting to watch today. Yes, and we're going to continue to bring it to you right here on CW39 Houston. So don't change that channel. We'll be right back after the break. All right. Stay with us. And also, just a reminder, make sure we're going to take a break, but we will be coming back live for the live coverage from the George R. Brown Convention Center with Vice President Kamala Harris in her, of course, speakership and what she's going to talk about at the GRB. So stick around for a lot more on that. Thank you so much. And Maggie, always good to see you. I know. It was great. This was historic. <laughs> <laughs> I Stay agree tuned. with you. Let's for do it again. Sure. <laughs> Love to.